Hey there, rock lovers. Check it out. Look at this pile of rocks I have here. What's the story behind these? Well, turns out I went out to the Coconut 06 Ranch rock hounding last year. It was my first time out there, and I was like a kid in a candy store, just grabbing everything I could see that looked like it might be interesting. So I picked up a bunch of these rocks that I thought were going to be agates because I would see just little signs on the outside, usually these little bumps, that just led me to believe that inside they must be really cool. Come to find out most of them that I picked up were just junk, just rhyolite, with maybe a little bit of goodness inside, but not much. So here's what I have left. I was just gonna throw these out. You know, lesson learned, move on, right? But then I decided, no, let's, let's see. Maybe I got lucky with a couple of these. Who knows, right? Maybe within one of these, there might be some little treasure just waiting to be discovered. So for this video, what we're gonna do is take all of these rocks they're sort of medium-sized rocks. I'm gonna take these into the shop, get them on the 10-inch saw, cut each one of these in half, and just see, did we get anything good? Once I'm done cutting them, I'll bring them back in here and we'll take a closer look at these. Okay, here we go, let's get cutting. We'll begin. Is this first one going to have anything? Mm, okay, next up. Yeah, the cut's finished. How about this one? Eesh. All right, the next one. Cut begins. There, it's finished. Who? Yeah, maybe. All right, next one. And the cut begins. There. Inside we have... Uh, ooh, all right. Next up. There, the cut's finished. What's in here? Yeesh. <laughs> All right. Next one. And do we have a winner? Well, maybe. All right. Next up. Okay. Quick peek. Interesting. And what about this one? Cut's finished. Final rock. Ooh. You saw it. All of our big chunks of this West Texas, let's just call it rhyolite, have all been cut in half. And you also saw that we didn't have any home runs. However, let's take a closer look at them anyway, because in this light, maybe we'll see something interesting anyway. I'll begin with this one. This one broke while I was cutting it. And this is what you have on the inside. You know, it's not bad. This stuff is actually kind of attractive to my eye anyway. Even though there's not really any chalcedony to speak of. Maybe tiny, tiny bits. But they do have nice patterns in them. And some decent color. Next up is this one. This one stayed together when I cut it. Looks like it had some interesting stuff on the outside. I actually like that little yellow laciness right there. What about the inside? Ooh. You know, this one actually reminds me of a thunder egg. Can you see that? Could, that that's clearly chalcedony in there. You can see it. Plus, there's more of that little lacy stuff. So this one's actually kind of cool. It does have agate in it, as you can see, along with that colorful, interestingly patterned rhyolite. So this one's actually a winner. I, I think this is a decent rock. Okay, let's look at this one next. Kind of a big, ugly nodule on the outside. Maybe you can see why I was fooled with these rocks. They sure look like they should be agates. Unfortunately, this is what they look like on the inside. But once again, this one's actually interesting looking. Nice colors. And if you look closely, there's some cool details I think I like these <laughs> duds that I picked up at the Coconut 06 Ranch. That's some amazing detail in there. You can really see pictures. Like I can see, right in there I can see almost a, like a tree, a barren tree. I'm sure you see that. And then a, a smaller tree next to it with some branches. Yeah, that's not so bad, right? Okay, what will this one look like? Just another big old chunk of what I'm... Going to assume is rhyolite. That's what it looks like. 
What was this one like? Ooh, wow. Now you can see there is some agate in there, or as I like to say, it has agatiness. clearly. Look at that. And those colors are really interesting. Oh, I kind of like this one. I may have to throw all these in the tumbler at the end and see if I can get them to shine up. This is kind of a cool looking rock on the inside, don't you agree? Very interesting. Okay, next up is this one. You see the bumpiness on that side? The stuff that fooled me? Now, I've been back there a couple of times since and I'm, I've learned my lesson. I don't pick up these rocks anymore. Let's see, what's this one like on the inside? Well, once again, it's a beautiful pattern in there of, uh, I'm gonna call it rhyolite. Lots of fine detail, look at that, and those colors? Wow. Yeah, see right over here, my thumbnail is right there. There's something going on right there, what is that? That looks like agate to me, very tiny agate, but there's something there. Oh, another decent rock. Okay, let's try this one now. We've had a couple of nice surprises. Will, will this one show on the inside? What do we think? The answer is, ooh, we have chalcedony. Look at that, or agatiness, as I like to say. Yes, it's dark, but you can make out the different colors. It's like a light and a dark. Is that a blue, maybe? I can't really tell looking through the phone, but it's it's definitely agaty. Another, let's call it a West Texas Thunder Egg. Okay, we have two more. This one looks like a very burned piece of, like a pork tenderloin that you threw on the grill and left it on way too long. All right, what about the inside? Let's see. Ooh. There you go. There's that interesting pattern going on looks like some kind of crazy painting doesn't it maybe a little agony no yes a little that white stuff that looks to me like chalcedony sort of a cross right there sort of what else do we see in there what about this side yeah i like these i'm gonna have to get more of these Forget what I said earlier about not picking this stuff up anymore. I might grab a few more pieces the next time I'm out there. And finally, our last piece. Now this one I thought might have a chance because as you can see on the top, it has that color, which kind of looks like a Jasper maybe. Really nothing on the bottom. What about the inside? Let's take a look. Well, sure, there is some of that yellow and red that goes inside, right? Not a lot. In fact, to me, I, I can see moss agate in there. Do you see that? That is definitely a very tiny, sure, very tiny moss agate right there. That's kind of cool. And then look at this down here. Oh, that's actually quite pretty, I think. Yeah. Who would have guessed that that's what would have been on the inside of one of these old chunks of uh, West Texas rhyolite? I like this one as well. Hey, I wanna thank you all so much for watching this little video. I hope you enjoyed it. It was actually a lot of fun cutting these and I think we actually got some interesting stones. And who knows, maybe I'll turn this into another video. I'll take all of these pieces, put them in a, like a 12 pound barrel and see how well all this tumbles, but that's for another day. Thanks again for watching, I do appreciate it. And please be sure and check my other videos for more like this. Thanks again.